What's going on guys, it's your boy Darth Eternal here with the latest Star Wars news, but before we do get into that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. Also, go check out my last video as it was a good one, so give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start today's show because we have some big news today. Welcome back guys to the Eternal Sith Network. So today we're going to be talking about episode four of the Kenobi series. And man, do I have to say what a great episode. I mean, what beautiful character development, what a beautiful character plot development. I have to say they did a really good job this episode. And I know some people didn't enjoy it, but I personally did. And I want to talk about what I enjoyed today about the episode and what stood out to me the most. So we get to get in the beginning, Kenobi in the back of the tank, as I've talked about before, we knew that was going to happen as we know that he has to heal from his burns from episode three with him against Vader. And what I really enjoy about the back of the tank is the connection between Kenobi and Vader. And we see a little flashback of that fight. Now, what I have enjoyed a flashback of possibly, you know, the Clone Wars or something from the prequel era, of course I would have, and it would have been beautiful, but I don't mind it. So the next thing we get to see is Reva interrogating Leia and as she is interrogating her, she realized that she is strong. And I think that Reva knows that Leia is, you know, she's at one with the force. She definitely has something that makes her stronger and that makes her gifted. And that's the beauty of this, that it really shows us a lot about Leia. Now, the next thing that we notice is we get Roken finally, guys which I've been dying for. And I know everybody's been dying for him to be Quinlan Voss. And again, that's just things that I've heard, but I'm happy that he's his own character. And I want to learn more about him because one of the things that we, we got to see when he got introduced is that he had a wife once and the empire hunted them down as they were trying to hide. But it ended up being that his wife got taken by the inquisitors and i wonder which inquisitor it was and we're going to talk about in just a bit one of the things i noticed in a later scene that might have a connection and a tie and the fact that he knew who she was before they got married i think is beautiful and i think it's crazy because we know that jedi aren't supposed to get married or have a love interest as we know kenobi did and obviously anakin did but behind the scenes and i would love to learn who his wife was as we know that the inquisitors found her regardless of them trying to hide out and again i wonder which inquisitor it was and which jedi was it but we will talk about that in just a bit and it might not be that she was a jedi she could have been force sensitive which we'll talk about later then we see in the next scene here that they are learning which i think was cool they're trying to figure out a way to get to planet nur to get into the mustafar system without being detected and i wonder what kenobi felt like you know hearing the word mustafar again because again the last time that he saw darth vader which was anakin or lord vader was again when they were brothers this was 10 years before in revenge of the sith so that's an interesting one. Then we see Tala Dureth arriving on Nur as they made a plan to get Kenobi in to, to help Leia escape and save her. So we see her get in there. And then what was cool was we got to see Kenobi swimming. And this gave me such prequel vibes from the Phantom Menace. Um, that's the, That was like kind of like the scene that I, you know, it reminded me of, which I enjoyed. And like I said, so far, the episode, amazing so far. I have no complaints, which was really, really cool. Then we see leia and reva talking and i love the connection i love reva's character as she's interrogating because it shows that she has also a backstory as she once had a droid when she was younger too just as leia did and that's why i love reva's character because it's really showing you the connection and why she really matters in this series now the next scene we get is an interesting one because we see kenobi here he goes in to this place that ends up being vader's tomb on planet nur at the bottom when they were trying to figure out what's so important about this base and we end up seeing a character called in the tomb Terra sanub a character that we know from the clone wars and also a number of books set during the high republic era so this character was around for a long long time and we also know that this character was a part of the clone wars who also met and helped ahsoka while she was still a padawan as shown in the tv series about that time when you know the jedi master worked with ahsoka to help retrieve her lightsaber after it was stolen by a pickpocket so that was really cool and we know that sanub later 
went on to train younglings on the Temple of Coruscant, in which Darth Sidious later issued Order 66. So I can't wait to learn more about that. So here we see, obviously, Reva, or shall I say Reva, really putting Leia in the interrogation chair. And then here we see more more either force sensitives or jedi we don't know who they are just yet but we see a bunch of them that are frozen or just in this tomb we don't know if they're dead or alive but we know that they're dead so they're in the tomb so that's crazy to me and we obviously know that it, it's crazy for kenobi to see all of this after order 66 10 years later he's you know again so triggering it must be so heart-wrenching to see you know what once was and i feel like this one scene here of this female i feel like that's probably roken's wife i don't know why but i feel like she they, they obviously did a close-up on her and i feel like she's roken's wife i feel like she was force sensitive and not a jedi now we got a youngling guys from order 66 this right here must have hit so hard for kenobi and he sees that one scene of younglings getting slaughtered by anakin i mean the children uh, again that hit so hard for him and the next scene here that we get which i thought was so dope seeing kenobi in the dark striking down these stormtroopers i like how it shows you these poses of him doing it as he's fight as he's striking down stormtroopers which i really enjoy and then for the next scene we see obviously kenobi and tala and leia running away and we see reva chasing them down but then we get some snow speeders which was pretty dope to see in the series i thought that was so cool how they were flying without snow i don't know but it was cool and obviously we know that they get away and they end up saving the day escaping kenobi and leia then we see vader coming and he's pissed and he force chokes the crap out of reva and he has her in the air because she failed as we thought she did but then ends up being that she actually is very very much worthy and worth keeping alive because she ended up putting a tracker and we will later and we will show in just a second who that tracker is on and then we get to see here leia and kenobi which i thought was beautiful they hold hands and it just it really it, it it she's the grogu of this series like i have to say she really is and i've I, in the beginning i really wasn't liking her, her acting but i've come to love it she has grown on me i think she is awesome i really really do and then finally we get to see in this scene who the tracker is on and the tracker is not just on it's in lola which is pretty crazy because she once said she had a droid and i thought that was interesting so now we know that lola is the one that has the tracker in her and now they're gonna know where they're gonna be at all times so guys i have to say overall i gave this episode a seven it wasn't an eight it wasn't a nine it wasn't a ten for me because there's still a lot to come but i'm not giving it a low score like i said because again this episode still has to develop or shall I say this season still has to develop as we only have two episodes left and they're going to hit hard. And this episode, I have to say, hit hard for me. I really enjoyed the fact that, I mean, I don't think it was even a filler. I mean, the fact that we got, you know, a tomb, Vader's tomb, we got to see freaking all these, you know, Force sensitives or Jedi that once were, you know, and we got to see a whole bunch of stuff. We got to see Jabim, guys, which was cool. We got to see Roken, O'Shea Jackson Jr.'s character. We got to see some Vader. Again, we got to see Planet Nur again. We got to see Inquisitors we got to see kenobi you know igniting his lightsaber and striking down stormtroopers in this time and in this era so i really did enjoy you know this episode and again to each their own but i have to say you know for this episode and the lead up to it for episode five and six i think is going to be truly amazing i think that the next two episodes are going to hit i really believe that it built a lot of character development in kenobi and seeing you know what he really was during this time as he is gaining his powers back to be that kenobi from revenge of the sith because could you imagine if we got an episode that they just ended up fighting again without him basically kind of training a little bit no i think it would have kind of messed up the story again to each their own but i believe we needed an episode like this to really see kenobi really thrive and now get back to his old ways from revenge of the sith and i also like the interrogation scene with reva and leia and i think that reva's character is really growing on me i really love her character and i think that she's adding a lot to the story as we know that you know her story is supposed to continue after episode six because they are talking about a season two so i can't wait to see more of their characters i can't wait for episode five as i know that episode is going to hit hard and now they know you know of planet jabim most probably and that's where they're going to slaughter whoever is there and i think that's going to really ignite kenobi to be the kenobi from revenge of the sith 
But anyway, guys, this was my breakdown, my Easter eggs, and my thought on this episode and my my opinion and what I wanted to tell you guys. So again, guys, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. And stay tuned as I have another video out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Later.